Hello students, welcome back. I hope you all are doing well at your home. So let us start with our very next chapter, Clever Odysseus. Homer was the greatest Greek poet of ancient times. He wrote the famous epic Odysseus and created the character of the legendary Greek hero Odysseus who outwitted a one-eyed giant Polyphemus. So students, this is a story about Odysseus who is the great, a famous, repeat. So students, this is a story about Odysseus who is a legendary Greek hero and a giant, one-eyed giant, Polyphemus. So long ago, the Greeks attacked Troy. The Trojan War continued for 11 years. So now, the Trojan War is a very famous war student. So it continued for 12 years. And Odysseus was one of the brave Greek warriors in it. So Odysseus was a warrior. After the war, Odysseus along with his champions left Troy and sailed for Ithaca, their homeland. So Ithaca was the homeland of Odysseus. And after fighting the war in Troy, Odysseus went back to Ithaca. But they were yet to combat several obstacles before they could unite with their family. Uh, so what do we mean by obstacle here, students? Challenges. So before he could go to Ithaca and meet his family, he had to combat, he had to fight many other challenges in between. So let us look at all the challenges that he faced in between. Repeat. So let us look at students. What is one of the greatest challenge he had to face on his way to Ithaca? After several days on the sea, a heavy storm drove their ship far away from their route and they lost their way. So on their way to Ithaca, they lost their way. They came upon the island of Cyclopes and landed there. The Cyclopes were one-eyed giant who lived off their rich land and tended their huge flocks of sheep and goats. So now they all have landed up on Cyclopes. And what is Cyclopes, students? It is one land of one-eyed giants who live there happily. Each family of the Cyclopes live in a hollow cave. Hollow cave high up in the mountains. Odysseus was overwhelmed by a strange desire to meet them. So now Odysseus is very happy to meet all these big, big one-eyed giants. But what happens next? He chose 12 of his best men who started his love for adventure and set out towards a huge cave. So now Odysseus and his 10, 10 of his friends, they all are going inside a hollow cave. Odysseus and his men entered the cave and had ample time to explore the cave as the giant who lived there was out pasturing his flocks. So the giant who lived there was not present. He was outside to do some of his work. Odysseus kindled a fire and settled around it, feasting heartily on the Cyclops' huge store of cheese. So now they all have made a bonfire and they all are sitting around this bonfire and eating cheese and they are all are happy and enjoying cheese that they found inside the cave. So they found huge chunk of cheese inside that cave and they all are eating it. As soon as it was getting dark, heavy footsteps were heard outside the cave. Soon a monstrous man who appeared to be taller than a lofty mountain peak entered the cave. So now a big one-eyed giant is approaching inside the cave. So this is the home of this giant. So he is entering inside his cave. On seeing him and his men, Odysseus and his men crawled into the darkest corner of the cave. So now... They all crawled, they all are scared of this giant approaching this cave. So they all are scared. The giant cyclopes carried a huge armful of firewood. 
so this as you all can see students in this picture he is carrying a huge armful of firewood with him sheep and goats that were to be milked followed him inside the cave so all these sheep and goats they they all came inside the cave while their main counterparts were left outside in the high walled courtyard once inside the cyclops shut the entrance of the cave so now cyclops shut the entrance of the cave with a huge boulder so with a huge circled boulder the cyclops actually closed the doors of the cave with 22 wheeled wagons could not have moved so that stone was so huge that even 22 wheeled wagons couldn't have moved that stone as the cyclops settled down a high pitched sound filled the cave who are you strangers taking refuge in my cave so now this giant this one eyed giant he is asking all the people present inside the cave that who are you strangers why are you inside my cave answer me what brings you here tell me the answer why are you all here why are you all present here although petrified beyond words odysseus gathered courage to answer the cyclops we are greek returning from troy driven here by the wind in the name of zeus we seek your hospitality so now odysseus is asking that please in the name of zeus who is zeus Zeus is a Greek god students so Odysseus is saying that please in the name of Zeus in the name of god please don't hurt us we seek your hospitality in answer to Odysseus plea in answer to Odysseus help what do we mean by plea here students help the monstrous cyclops grabbed two men dashed their heads on the floor and globed them up flesh bones and all so now Odysseus grabbed two men and he actually smashed their head on the rock and killed and ate even the flesh the bones everything he ate everything out of those two men then he burped aloud and said i am polyphemus the leader of cyclops and i shall treat you as i choose so now polyphemus is saying that i will treat you as i choose as i demand and i don't care about your zeus your god and this is my island and i am the leader here so i will do as i prefer he then lay down the floor to sleep amongst his sheep so now he goes and sleep with his sheep odysseus and his men spent a sleepless night so they all spent a sleepless night because they all were afraid and frightened of what just happened mourning for their friend they all are crying and mourning for their friend and waited the dawn in the sheer fright what do we mean by fright fear so they all waited and they all didn't sleep for the whole night because they all were so afraid Odysseus's mind was at work to try and devise a plan to get rid of Polyphemus. For a moment the thought occurred to him that his mighty sword would slay the Cyclops in his sleep. So now Odysseus is thinking that he should kill Polyphemus in his sleep only with his sword. But instantly he reminded himself that the entrance of the cave was barred by that huge stone. So now Odysseus is thinking that I can kill this giant with my sword but but what will I do about that huge stone which is blocking the cave which was impossible to move if Polyphemus were to die he and his men would be imprisoned in the cave forever so now Odysseus is thinking that I can kill this giant but what about that huge giant stone which is in front of that cave how will me and my men that we are going to remove it it is impossible and we all are going to be in prison for life and die a miserable death as dawn shone forth polyphemus awoke as soon as he has milked his animals he devoured two more of odysseus men for breakfast so now Polyth 
famous woke up and ate two of odysseus men in the morning for breakfast moving the stone at the entrance quite effortlessly he drove out his flock and now he moved that big stone and he went out then he replaced the stone behind heading for the pasture so now he has gone out to get pasture or to get green grass for his sheep and goats and he slided that door again closing the entrance then he replaced the stone before heading for the pasture odysseus wasted no time in searching the cave thoroughly he hoped to find something that might help him overcome the mighty polyphemus in one of the corners of the cave he found a long green olive wood staff which belonged to cyclops so now odysseus is thinking about a plan continuously and then he found a long green olive wood staff a olive wood stick odysseus cut off a fathom's length of the staff with his sword then he sharpened one end so now he odysseus found a stick and now he is sharpening that stick with his sword the end of it to the point and hardened it in the fire odysseus planned to blind the cyclops as he lay asleep that night so what was the plan that odysseus come up with he wanted to blind the cyclops when he returns back at dawn polyphemus returned so at the repeat at dusk polyphemus returned this time bringing in his entire flocks of sheep and goats and rams and ewe so, so now he is bringing every animal inside the cave and as he grabbed two more of odysseus men to eat and now he sat down and he smashed the heads of two of another odysseus and now he is eating odysseus men odysseus addressed him humbly so now odysseus is calm and he addressed he is asking something to polyphemus polyphemus i have with me some exquisite red wine to wash down your meat of human flesh so now odysseus is say is talking to polyphemus and he is telling polyphemus that i have red wine so that you can wash wash your meal of human flesh do you want it the cyclops took a bowl of wine that was offered and now the cyclops which means polyphemus he took the bowl of wine that was offered and gulped which means drank it in a sip he seemed very pleased so he is very happy polyphemus is very happy after drinking this red wine which was offered by odysseus pleased with the taste and asked for more tell me what is your name o stranger so now polyphemus is asking for odysseus name and he is asking that please give me more wine so this brings us to the end of the chapter students i hope you all enjoyed this amazing and interesting story of a greek legend thank you